Hey guys, so happy Monday. Uh, let me tell you how my Monday started. So, uh, one of my residents, I don't know if you guys remember, my resident that um, had the fall, she was in her 90s, she fell off the chair um, in the dining room. She was, um, she had dementia stage seven, like the last stage. And what she would do is she would grab things that weren't there, if you know what I mean. So if she's sitting in the so on the sofa or sitting on um, a regular chair, she's going like this reaching. So when she went to reach, she, she fell off the chair and, and fractured her hip. So with that being said, um, an elderly person breaking any type of bones and they don't have any real movement and they're not, you know, not moving around, not walking around, everything starts to shut down. So unfortunately she passed away at about one, I think it was about 1230 this morning. Um, so I'm dealing with that. And um, I also have to make a business decision and it's a, it's a, it's a smart decision. Um, I have to do it for the next two months. Um, and the decision that I'm, I am choosing to make is that my facility that is getting the sprinklers installed, the whole process is going to take 60 to almost 90 days. So because that house is only licensed for four and I only have three, the numbers aren't there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those three residents and move them over to uh, my other facility for the next three months. Um, so I will have the other house and I will make some, you know, upgrades, you know, change some of the bedspreads and, and, and do some work in the house along with the contractors. And then what I will do is um, I will still tour at that house, but I will not um, move anybody in until the month of either June or July. So for the month of May and for the month of June, my Berkshire residents will be at Buckingham um, because I have the available beds, um, you know, since, you know, COVID and I had the residents pass away at Buckingham. I had, like I said, the available space. So, um, yeah, sometimes this business is, is stressful and challenging i didn't even sleep last night because i'm trying to run my numbers and just trying to make sure that i'm making the best decision possible um the hardest part about this is is kind of just kind of uprooting or transferring the residents or relocating the residents and you know when they're kind of used to being where they are um you know i already talked to the families and told them what i was considering doing and they thought that it was a great idea you know there's no sense in me keeping this house open when i'm down in numbers and i know that the sprinklers will be installed within like i said the next 60 days um and therefore i will become a nine bed facility um the house will have to get reinspected again by the fire marshal you know before i can bring in those additional people so um that's what i'm gonna do and I'm on my way over to Berkshire right now uh, just to talk to my staff and just kind of see where they're at. You know, I'm a, one thing about me is I try to make everything work across the board for everybody involved. But unfortunately, you know what? I have to worry about, consider myself and consider my residents and my staff. You know, I'm going to offer them an opportunity to go over to the other house shorter hours, of course. Um, but then they can, you know, come back to Berkshire if, if, if they choose to. So that's what I'm dealing with first thing in the morning. Um, no one said that this business would be easy. <laughs> it's just, a, it's, a, it's a lot, you know, it, it's, 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 it, it's a lot, you know. Um, but again, I wouldn't change anything in the world. Um, it's part of the business. Death is a part of this business, of this everyday business, and especially when you have the older adults. So in this house, my residents are late 80s, early 90s. So it's expected. Um, so I want to leave you on that note to let you know that we do still have the pre-sale going on, the $25 pre-sale for the next assistant living, oh, sorry, next assist, assistant living ownership one-on-one class. Again, that's $25 for the pre-sale until April 30th. So you can go to the, uh, assistant living coach Academy website. You can grab your seat. I believe in two weeks, we already have 13 people that have registered. So make sure you grab your seat and um, so that I can tell you how this business works and so that you can uh, come up with a plan in regarding, you know, having a great future and uh, being able to set money aside and, um, you know, just being able to 
conquer the dream or the goal that you have set out for yourself. So again, happy Monday. It's never a dull moment. Uh, you know, so that's what I'm dealing with right now. But happy Monday. I hope you guys have a great week and you will hear from me soon. Take care.